Good afternoon and welcome to this tutorial where we will look at some of the new features in the Adobe Photoshop CS4. The first thing we would like to look at is the Content Aware Scale. So if we go up to edit we can see here Content Aware Scale, that's a new function. What you need to make sure is that you have your picture in this own layer, not as a background layer. If you have a background layer just double click at the layer and you will make it into a normal layer. If we look at the, at the old way to resize the images, we get a, a, a very bad result. You can look here. We try to press Ctrl T as in the old days with this transform and we try to make it smaller like that. You can see here, it don't look very nice. Now we try to go up to edit and instead choose content aware scaling. And we try again. You can see it built up the house again and nothing is lost, nothing is compressed, it's much better, but I, but even though you can see the house is getting very small, which we don't want to, so I make it big again, pressing escape, and then I can go into our channels down here, so I take the channels and I make a new layer, what I want to do now is to make a white color over the house, because that's the one the Photoshop may not change. So I'll click at the blue channel just to see where the house is. Make sure to make it to have a white color and I take a paintbrush and I simply just paint the house as you can see here. Now it's painted. I go back to the RGB, remove my channel and click at the RB, RGB channel and go back to my layers. Once again we go up and take content aware scaling and this time we go up here to the protect there and we choose alpha 1 that's the new one we made and again we try to remove it and you can see you can make the picture smaller and the house will not be affected at all very nice feature content of I press escape to uh, to regret and I will show one of the other new escape things you can do Another one you will probably have seen here is the adjustment panel. You can look at that in the right here. This is the possibility to put adjustment layers easy uh, just by clicking at them. For example, if I want the, uh, what could it take? It could take few saturation. If I want to put up some colors or something like that, I can click here and I can choose it just here, like that. Now I try to put too much color and I try to click O. Oh, Oh no, my picture is not if this is the right. But here I can easily double click the layer. You just click once actually. And then you can choose it again. Oh, the other, that was too much. And what about making it a little bit more blue and everything like that. So that's very, very cool. Yeah, of course you have all the possibilities as you used to. And you can also choose between the channels. So, yeah. Very nice. Uh, you can always uh, go back and, and try to put some other features on you down here you have a list of what you can do so you can go back here and you can say I also need to put uh, for example labels on it and then I can make it a little bit lighter like that right this is not a good result but I'm just showing you the tools to do it I found out I don't like one of the things I put here so I will just take the layers and delete them bye bye and we have the original picture yeah another one another function is up in the select probably you have used the color range before here we have get a little uh, improvement so if you click here you can see we have the localized cluster so if I try to take up here in the heaven yeah actually yeah you can see here now I try yeah there you can see when I have taken in the heaven some of the sand here this is with. We don't want that. We can also choose here to see it on the picture. You can see it's choosing down here and up here. We don't want that. So what we can do is say lo localized color clusters. Then you can see it tries to be in a, in some range, and you can control the range and say you should concentrate about the heaven like that, maybe a little more, and then you can get a much better result. Of course, we can just go a little down the fastness and get a little bit of a like that so yeah but that's a new thing local localized 
quality of this yeah there are also been a lot of new 3d functions I could not show you this in this video but maybe later I'll show some of them and then um, yeah there are some more changes you can see here all the blue here is new changes and you can put them on if you want to just by going to the I think it was the workspace was it no <laughs> okay I have forgot where to put them on but in some of the menus you can find the uh, you can find a tab for viewing new functions I actually can't remember where it is but somewhere you can find view new functions and just click at that and then you will get all the blue ones on the new functions in Photoshop yeah sorry I can't show that now but uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, yeah thank you for watching bye